Huh. I was not expecting that there. Hello, Sonic Mario. Yeah, it sounds kind of like Squidward, doesn't it? That's honestly what I thought it said the first time I read out Sodward. Sodward, man. <laughs> it's not Squidward. It's, dang it. <laughs> it's Sodward, the, the dude with the freaky haircut that looks like a sword. And Shieldbert, the guy with the hairdo that looks like a shield. This game gets ridiculous sometimes. This is really weird. How's it going today, Sonic Mario? My oh my. Wedgehurst, here we are. Oh, Sodward, how... How posh. Sodward and Shieldbert. What a world. <laughs> that is something I was not expecting to see. I thought I'd just go there and it'd be like the... The thing for catching the main legendary Pokemon, but I guess not. I suppose not. Wacky, let's go ahead and zoom over to the lab, because that's where we were headed. Here we go. Hmm? Professor Sonia, you have a visitor. Hey, Harmonia, glad you're here. Um, you got an assistant? Spot on. I've been busy with my research, so I decided to bring on some extra help. I've been keeping all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had been gathering here in the lab. Things have been a little hectic around here, but my assistant has been handling things in a proper fashion. She's really been helping me keep things afloat. I really haven't been doing all that much. You're Harmonia, the champion, right? I'm really glad that I get to meet you. It's an honor, truly. Come here for a moment, would you? There's something I want you to have a look at. Is it going to be cute cat pictures? Remember my power spot detector, right? What the heck is all this? The next place that we're dynamaxing is possible. Basically, when there's a high concentration of Galar particles, the readings spike. Galar particles! That's literally just what they call them. That's how I figured it out. The power spot detector reacted when those two got close. So what does it mean? Basically. All the readings from the power spot detector, you might be able to find those sword and shield, shield weirdos. Oh? Sword and Shieldbert might claim to be royalty with their weird fancy names, but it's easier to just call them weirdos, don't you think? Let's get back on topic, though. I placed power spot detectors all around Galar, and now it's their time to shine. Oh my goodness, that's some insane button mashing. Power spot detectors access. Um, am I supposed to be looking for something? Oh, turf field then? Turf field, I guess. That's where the thing is. Can't fly there yet. Recenter. Oh, it just goes to there. Next destination. Oh. Oh, oh, that's a way bigger reaction than I would have thought. Looks like it's coming from Turf field Stadium. I always Dynamax Pokemon at the stadium, so it's not exactly unusual. But these readings are way higher than normal. It can't be a Turnitus. You already caught it. Maybe it's something related to those Sword and Shield weirdos? You should go check it out, Harmonia. Since you're our snazzy new champion and all. Set up your town map to show where the strong particle reactions are coming from, so have a look at it. Okay, that's certainly interesting there. But yeah, so you don't know which Pokemon game to get on the Switch, what, between Sword and Shield or between, like, the general Pokemon games on the Switch, like including the Let's Go games. Because Sword and Shield, the version differences aren't too crazy. It's typically just like which one of the legendaries you prefer. Typically. Like which one of the which one of the Pokemon on the cover art do you prefer more? Is typically <laughs> the best option to go for there. And honestly, I like Sword and Shield more than I do Pokemon Let's Go. If that's where if that's where the debate lies. It's between something like Let's Go and Sword and Shield. I prefer those ones. And yeah, it is probably easier just to call that one Squidward, you're right. Squidward and Shieldbert. <laughs> yeah, out of the new ones. I've been playing through both of them. I just beat Pokemon Shield earlier today, actually. So I've been playing a decent bit of both of these. I'm playing Pokemon Sword right now, though. So... Yeah, there's typically just a few... Oh, I already healed up here, didn't I? What am I doing? Anyway, I, uh... Yeah, there's typically just a few version exclusive Pokemon, like the main legendaries being some of them. But they're pretty much the same game. But I understand the debate where it's like, okay, they're pretty much the same thing, so time to get one. But which one, if both the legendaries are awesome? Could also depend on, like, other version exclusive Pokemon, but you can also get them by, like, trading and such. 
as well. I should probably go to Turfield Stadium. This is a weird freaking post-game side quest that we're doing. Yes, let's call a flying taxi to go to Turfield. <laughs> you look at Sora and call it Pokemon Squid. Pokemon Squid version. With the freaking dude with the... <laughs> sword haircut. Squidward. Sodward Squidward. Sodward sounds like... <laughs> A name of like one of Squidward's ancestors or something. Or like maybe his dad or granddad or something. Sodward and his son Squidward is what it sounds like. <laughs> exactly. Hmm? You're. Hello there, champion. So you came. Uh, what's going on here? <laughs> Carefree can you be? You're the new champion. You're pure than a Dynamax Pokemon right now. I was actually in the middle of an exhibition match with Pierce. Then this Dynamax Pokemon came charging in. The audience and staff already took shelter. Oh? I got everyone who has seen it on the north side of the stadium evacuated. You must have heard, right? What Dynamax Pokemon are running amok. Much obliged, Top. I expect nothing less from a gym challenger. I knew we could count on you. I lost in the semifinals, though. Ah, Harmonia. I chased those red and blue guys and saw them head into Turfield Stadium. Then I heard that uproar, and there was no way I could leave it alone. I had to help out. So, sorry. I actually lost sight of them in all the rush. Hmm, suspicious characters you saw are concerning. For now, I think we should get this Dynamax Pokemon to settle down first. Be glad for your help against such a tough-looking opponent, Champion Harmony. Are we gonna do a freaking raid battle with the four of them? Hold on a sec. Okay, preparation is as important as laying seeds for the next harvest. Are we gonna do a freaking raid battle with them? Is this what we're doing here? Can I Dynamax my Corviknight? We're gonna do a freaking raid battle with them, aren't we? That's actually really cool. Inside the gym, we're gonna do a freaking max raid battle. All right, then let's head up to the pitch. I'll lend a hand too. I don't blame the Pokemon, of course. I'm still just a bit miffed they upstaged me. You come too, pro of the old champion. I don't know how much I can really help. If I come along, I might just end up slowing the rest of you down. I don't really know the guy, but I don't think Leon would be all lost about this. No, he does actually get lost a lot. Coming? Uh, okay. I messed up some of the words there. Yours might look scary, but he's great at looking after others. He's a big brother after all. Alright, we should get going too. This, I most certainly was not expecting. Yeah, it's in the gym. We're doing a... Oh, look, he has... Pierce has his microphone. Oh, my. Oh, I guess we'll Gigantamax or Corviknight. My, oh, my. Does he have a freaking Flapple? Is that what I'm seeing over there? All right, so Hop has his Cinderace out. Hold on, I want to see the camera move over to Milo and his Pokemon. Is that a Flapple he has? The evolution of that weird Apple Pokemon. Well, one of the evolutions of that weird Apple Pokemon. I want the camera to go over there. There it is. He has a freaking Flapple. Grass and Dragon, I believe it is. My oh my. <laughs> you not be good at this? Pokemon games typically aren't super, aren't super difficult. They're nice casual adventures to just have fun in typically. Is how I see him. Alright, this does more, so let's do this. On Sarina. Can't play games good? Well, Pokemon's a really good casual game, I find. Like, it's designed something for pretty much every skill level to be able to get into, which is really nice. Well, we got a big burb against the big plant thing. Oh, that's gonna be super effective. Wow, that damage, though. If Hop did that much damage, then... Yeah, that's quite a bit. Not as much as I honestly thought it would after seeing how much Hop did. Throat Chop? That's the name of a move? Crit. This shouldn't do a lot of damage, I don't think. <laughs> Never mind, Flapple got one shot, and what am I talking about? Goodbye, Flapple. <laughs> Milo, Milo's Flapple fainted. Milo, Milo, I have no idea how it's pronounced. 
All right, one more of these should finish it off. Or that'll finish it off too. There we go. <laughs> there it is. Dramatic explosions. Oh, we don't get to catch it? Phew. Looks like things have finally calmed down a bit. It's Dynamax stuff. No matter how many times I see it, I still don't like it. It's here, dislike of Dynamaxing still hasn't changed, Pierce. There was definitely something off about that Dynamax transformation. There wasn't any trainer anywhere, and the Pokemon seemed like it couldn't even control the power itself. Right, right. Normally, a Pokemon needs to respond to a Dynamax ban in order to Dynamax, but it seems there is some discord in the harmony between trainer and Pokemon. You feel anything unusual, Harmonia? I did, sure, I don't know. So you noticed something was off too. There's no trainer to be found. This really is a mystery wrapped in an enigma. I'll make sure Turfield Stadium takes good care of this Pokemon for the time being. You lot really helped me out here. Thanks for that. Oh, and Harmonia. If you should ever need my help, feel free to call me anytime. So can I call on him for like raid battles or something now? Melo's rare league card. What's a rare league card? Alright then. Follow me, little Sarina. What's a rare league card? Well, well, well. Looks like that Dynamax nonsense has calmed down. Well, well, well. The champion, as expected. Oh no, it's- They're freaking behind the counter?! <laughs> ah, it's you two. I knew you'd be here. Give the rusted shield back. Well, I never. It's not like it's something that belongs to you, either. Even if it were yours, we wouldn't give it back. It's with these two. <laughs> Over here so I can battle you. Where are these guys? Spectators and staff should have been evacuated. The normal rules simply don't apply to us. Yes, that's what it means to be celebrities. <laughs> what? Who is this ruffian to question us? You're just someone with strange taste in hairstyles. His entire style is complete black and white nonsense, isn't it, older brother? I think I put any faith in words from rude little punks like you. But it seems our experiment was a success, younger brother. Quite, quite. Next time, let us try to Dynamax an even stronger Pokemon. Yes, yes. At last, we shall reveal the true nature of Zacian and Zamazenta. What was that about Zacian and Zamazenta? You, despicable champion. We're going to keep letting po Dynamax Pokemon run wild. If you want to stop us, do your best to chase after our splendid-looking bottoms. More like celebrity bottoms. And with that, farewell! So you're the ones who caused all this. Stop! Down, Hop. You don't gotta act so hard. <laughs> They're getting away! Yeah, and they could be leading us to a trap. It's a bad idea to run in unprepared. But still... Ugh, fine. You're right, I get it. Good. Let's all calm down for a sec. Thanks to them running their mouths, we know that their goal is to force Pokemon to Dynamax. And they plan to continue doing it. Um, I won't allow it. Yeah. This is no time to be hung up on getting back the Rusted Shield. Ammonia, Pierce, we've got to stop those two. We got Pierce along for this little... For this little journey there. Also, yeah, I thought of that same line Sonic Mario when I saw the... Mystery wrapped in an enigma. I can just imagine Patrick saying, The inner machinations of my mind are an enigma. I can just hear Patrick's voice in my head. Did they say anything else here? Those two making Pokemon Dynamax without any Dynamax bands. I don't know. Where those red and blue buffoons have gone off to next? Let's head over to Lucamonia. Do we have to go to like all the gyms in order for max raid battles? Ah, there you are, Harmonia. Things are a right proper mess. So when I thought the Galar Particle counter on Turfield to calm down, I started getting huge Galar Particle readings from Holberry Stadium and Motorstoke Stadium. Yeah, we do have to go there then. So, what exactly happened at Turfield Stadium? Um, <laughs> exaggerate what happened. What? A Dynamax Pokemon completely destroyed the stadium. Wait, Turfield Stadium is still there. Uh, the Sword and Shield weirdos did it. Oh, Sonia! Poppin, Pierce! Pierce, what are you doing here? Can't you be back in Spikemouth? 
I'm an ex-gym leader. I can be wherever I want. It's not that weird. More importantly, you said there were Dynamax Pokemon at other stadiums. Yes, getting the same readings in other towns as I was from Turfield Stadium. I'm worried about Marnie. Ah, oh, but Spikemouth Gym should be okay, right? I'm only seeing readings from Holberry Stadium and Motorstoke Stadium. Ah, oh, I see. Pokemon are being forced to Dynamax and running wild. There's no way I can simply sit by and watch. What do you say, Harmonia? Um... I want to chase after those two weirdos. Okay, even if you want to go after them, we don't know where they went. Leave those sword and shield weirdos to me. I can poke around the net for sightings of them. We'll leave the research into this, sir. Sonia, was it? You should get to the other stadiums and help out. Sounds good. I'll catch up to you in a bit, so head out first. I'll leave it up to you to decide which stadium we handle first. If someone's in trouble, then I want to help. That's all. So let's get out there and do our best, alright, Harmonia? Sword and shield weirdos stick out like a sore thumb. It shouldn't be too hard to find them. Time for a little searching on social media. Yeah, with hairdos like that. And yeah, sorry, like the stream title says, it's not guaranteed and there's all... <laughs> it's just possible risk and such. Your champion is pretty amazing. Hey, thanks, man. Glad you think so. Guess we'll do them in, like, the order of the gyms. Let's go to Holbury. Holbury! All right, my Pokemon should be healed up. Yeah, sorry, but that's <laughs> that's the luck. It just says possible, no guarantees in the stream title. Don't get too close, you lot. Things are pretty dangerous here. You know the situation. The staff and spectators all right? Yes, they took shelter just a short while ago. You know, the more I look at you three, or I see how odd, see how odd a little group you are. <laughs> Leave us alone. We came here to help you out. I'm grateful for it. The Dynamax Pokemon's power is so intense, I'm sure it'd give me trouble. I'd feel a lot more confident about it if you all joined the battle. Let's do it. Time for more max raid battles. It seems like. I should have sent out Bolton. Ah, well. Oh dang, he's lowering attack. How rude. R-O-O-D, a uh, rude. My, oh my. Yeah, I'll probably Gigantamax. My Corvinet here, I'll turn the chat back on. And yeah, exactly, Sonic Mario. <laughs> There's NES Ness, then there's Ness the character, and then there's Nessa. Who knows how many letters Nintendo's gonna add for some other next game in the future. I don't know, let's just see how much this does. Let's Gigantamax my Corviknight, since it's the only Pokemon I have that can Gigantamax anyway. I could always switch and then Dynamax Bolton, but these Pokemon don't seem super tough, so it probably won't matter that much anyway. Probably wouldn't save much time, if any. Oh my goodness, look at all that HP now. So much. Oh, that Gyarados is fast if it's going first. Ah, it didn't take out the Dreadnought. Fantastic. He's just using agility, are you kidding me? Unbelievable. <laughs> Alright, here's the G Max Wind Rage. Not as much as I hoped it'd be. Maybe I should have switched to Bolton after all. Maybe the first one is just like a tutorial one. It's still not super tough, but. Yeah, its health is already almost halfway down. Which is always nice. Oh, now Hop's attacking. Now he is. Gyarados is not attacking before I am this time. Wonky. We're doing so much damage to him. Oh my goodness. Just a couple more hits and that'll be it. What the heck was that? Oh, it's just that thing. It's just that thing. Who cares then? Whatever, man. This should finish it off. No, Obstagoon! 
Oh man. Helps using agility again for whatever reason. Yeah, increase your speed. That sure helps the team, doesn't it? That sure helps out. Goodbye, Gyarados. I assume once again we're not going to be able to catch it. Yeah. Because of everyone's help, no one was hurt and we were able to turn the tide of the situation. Look at that trainer behind Nessa. I hate the eyes of the trainers in the water type gym so much. They look so freaky. Keep that Pokemon at Holberry Stadium until I can fully recover. At least Nessa's eyes look good. It's just everyone else in the water type gym has eyes that look terrible. Monia, if you ever need my help, just let me know. So do we get to use them as NPCs in Max Raid Battles? Is that what the rare league cards mean? I suppose I'll see you later then. Thank you so much for your help, truly. Well, I guess we're off to the next location then, so that's gonna be a fire type one, so I should probably switch to Inteleon then. Is what we can do. It's a ball guy. Didn't I give anything? He gave a lure ball. Didn't I already pick one up from him here? Did I miss it? So now he's giving it to me. Maybe, I don't know. One day I'm gonna draw an emote of that guy. Because who boy. He's just asking to be made into an emote. Isn't he now? Alright, let's go to Motorstoke. Alright, here we are. Let's go ahead and head up on to the gym, I suppose. Hey! Hey! <laughs> Out of the way. Out of the way. I have places to be! Like up here. That goes so fast. It's so weird. <laughs> so wonky. Champion Harmonia. And Piers and Hop, too. Mr. Kabu, I'm glad you remember me. Of course, I would do. Uh, dang it, of course I do. The two were red hot after all. I'll never forget seeing you off after you'd completed your first leg of the gym challenge. I don't think we really got the time for a friendly chin wag. Right, actually, the situation's getting pretty bad over at the stadium. Yeah, that'd be why we're here. Ah, brilliant. The opponent's a bit much to take on single-handedly, so I was wondering what to do. But with you all at my side, my confidence in this battle is burning brighter by the minute. Let's begin. So yeah, I guess doing all these is unlocking the ability to... I assume it's unlocking the ability to use all the different gym leaders in max raid battles as NPCs. Which is pretty darn cool. This time it's a Torkoal. Oh, Torkoal! Alrighty, let's, yeah, go ahead and Dynamax and see how much we can do here. See how much damage we can do to that massive Torkoal. Probably quite a bit, considering this will be super effective and Inteleon is my most powerful Pokemon I have. What a sly look he is. My oh my. And he's so tall. Max Geezer, Geyser, I have no idea how it's pronounced. One of those. Oh my goodness, that damage though. It's because it was a critical hit. Jeez. Now it rains. And then look how much damage a uh, freaking hop does. Did his microphone just make a sound as he called out the command? Did I hear that right? Oh, he's gonna get rid of my rain, isn't he? He's getting rid of my rain! Dang it. I want it to keep raining. That sucks. Ah oh, well, this should take out the Torkoal. Goodbye, Torkoal! I love this slow-mo explosion with the water type. G-Max move. It's so dramatic. And the expression of the Pokemon receiving the hit is always so good. And that Torkoal was like, whoa! It's incredible. 
Looks like we were able to extinguish things this time. I'll let this Pokemon rest here at Motorstoke Stadium until it gets its energy back. And Harmonia. Should you have any need of my help, please don't hesitate to ask. Kakapu's rare lead card. Don't worry, I know. You all have more work that needs to be done, yes? Go forward, youths. I wish you well. Hey, Harmonia? How's your voice on phone ringing? That's a weird ringtone. Harmonia, we've got trouble. Those two weirdos have showed up at the Pokemon lab. What? Sonia, are you alright? I keep brutally demanding I had over wishing stars. Alright for now. Get over here quick, okay? These guys are right creepy. What are those two doing going after wishing stars? We've got to help Sonia and get back the rusted shield. Let's hurry to the Pokemon lab. Really doesn't think anything through. Sure does make him seem a proper fool. Yeah, I guess the word would be reckless. We're headed to the Pokemon lab next, right? Guess I'll stick by you till we see this through. Alright, I just quickly want to check. What are these rare league cards? Album. Is that what the rare thing is? Is this signature, maybe? Or maybe it's just a different pose? Like... Oh yeah, then there's... <laughs> there's another player league card of my cousin, actually. Um... So yeah, these are non-rare ones. So how do I tell the difference between a rare one and not? Wait, select and throw away. I can throw away once by... The trainer's here. Alright, so that's the non-rare one. That's just the regular one that I got from him. So the rare one... He has black hair instead. So I guess there's just some aesthetic differences. So that's Nessa's normal one. So Nessus is just completely different. Oh, Milo. He has a Wooloo there. Huh. Why is... Kaboo is basically the same thing, except his hair is... All black. Weird. Weird, man. I'm t kind of tempted to do select and throw away just to see what would happen. But it, if it would let me, I assume it wouldn't, but... Just in case. Oh yeah, I did that, didn't I? <laughs> My lead card. I forgot. All right, I guess we're heading to the Pokemon Lab. In that case, who's up front? Inteleon. Inteleon. Let's head down to the Pokemon Lab then. This is a weird little side story post game or post credits sequence, isn't it? Uh, time to get down to the lab. Stupid freaking dude in my way. We know all the wishing stars that Chairman Rose had gathered are here. We celebrities have an enhanced level of insight into such things. You non-celebrities are not suited to having such valuable things. Hand them over to us. Wishing stars and being a celebrity have nothing to do with each other. I don't know how you knew about this, but there's no way we're giving them to you. I love how they're just sitting there like, mm, some more tea, please. That's right. You can never understand how important these wishing stars are. You have no need for them. Goodness, whatever should we do, younger brother? It would certainly seem we have been inconvenienced, older brother. <laughs> Sonia and the professor are the ones who've been inconvenienced here. Up. Forcing Pokemon to Dynamax against their will. You've gone way out of bounds here. And I haven't forgot about getting back the rusted shield either. Well, well, well. I certainly thought the champion would come, but I didn't think a loser would follow. Must I have... Dang it. Must... Dang it, words are hard. Must I have you once again taste the flavor of a humiliating defeat? <sighs> Don't let these goons put you down. That's right. We lost a battle. But don't lose that rocket spirit. Right. Steady on. Oh dear. Thanks, mate. First things first. Let's get these weirdos out of here. Weirdos? Oh, how they wound me, older brother. To be called so terrible a thing as weirdos by these ruffians. Indeed. You are just royals such as ourselves in such a manner cannot, will not, be forgiven. This time I've brought much stronger Pokemon to thoroughly trounce you with. So is this gonna be a double battle? Oh, it is! 
You were challenged by Pokemon Trainer Shilper and Pokemon Trainer Sodwad. Sodwad. Bronzong and Glissapod. Hmm. What should the course of action here be, I wonder? I wonder, I wonder. How about we do this? First impression, that's rude. Oh my goodness, that did so much damage. That's so scary. Um, let's try to get Ninetales to take out the Bronzong. Which is what we can do. Please go after it. Yes, Galissapod. Oh, it didn't bring it under half health. I was hoping it would, so it would use its emergency exit. Oh, come on! It used light screen! Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Dang it, this is not going to do a ton of damage now. I think I might still do a fair amount, but not a ton. Dang it. That really sucks to go after Glissapod. Oh, thank goodness. Now it should be switched out. Yeah, there's the emergency exit. Sending out Bistarp. Dang it, why did that Bronzong have to use Light Screen? I guess they're fulfilling their Sword and Shield ro roles pretty well, aren't they? If only I had a Fire-type move that could hit them both, since they're both weak to fire. Maybe I'll go after the Shield one first. It doesn't use annoying things like Reflect and Light Screen. Oh, Double Bulls knows, knows Double Kick. Quadruple effective against Bishar. Nice. Oh, it's a good thing Hop's going after Bishar. Since I was leaving it alone and it's using a sword stance. Thank goodness for that. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I'm gonna need you to use double kick on double kick on that Bisharp again. Is what I need you to do, Hop. Quite frankly. So, um. Well, can I not use it on my allies? Oh wow, that sucks, doesn't it? Okay, that Bisharp used Sword Stance, so it has to go. It's gotta go! Oh, phew, that was enough to take it out. Oh, because it was a crit. I was worried that might not be enough because of the light screen there. Also, I just realized I missed that last comment, Sonic Mario. Yeah, it's Squidward and Squidbird. Exactly. We've got Squidward on the left and Squidbird on the right. <laughs> Pretty soon they're gonna take out a freaking clarinet here and play some tunes. Do blade, of course he would. Of course, a Pokemon that's literally two swords. Okay, maybe we'll go right after the do blade. Maybe we'll go after the sword guy first since he's already down one Pokemon. Oh dang it, man! If only that light screen wasn't around. So we could make this a two on one if we focus completely on one of them. Is what we could do. Oh, oh, that sucks, doesn't it? Oh, the light screen's gone. Yes, bring out Cinderace against the Seal types. Type advantage. That's what I'd like to see. All right, let's take out that Dew Blade. Oh, they're both going down this turn. <laughs> Talk about overkill. My, oh my. He only gets five uses of that move, and he used one of them to <laughs> freaking take out the little smidge of health on the Dew Blade. Goodbye, Bronzong. Alright, they're down to three Pokemon left. This is the case. Phalanx. What a weird looking thing. And there's Galissapod. Galissapod only has a smidge of health left, and that's his last one, then we can make it a two on one. So let's try to make this a nice, fair two versus one. Cinderace is going right after Phalanx. Oh, thank goodness I'm acting before the opponents do. Before Glissapod can get a hit in. There we go. Now it's a two on one. Nice. There's a couple level ups. We got our first Pokemon's level 70. Post combat. Whoa! Whoa! Scary stuff. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Well, I believe in you, Nine Tails. That power Ball is probably actually gonna do it, isn't it? Yep. 
it sure did. We might not even need to switch out from Ninetales. As long as both of us go first here. Should be able to take out his last Pokemon. Oh, especially since we have a type advantage. Thank goodness for that. Pyro Ball itself might even just be enough to do it. <laughs> it sure was. Nice. None of our Pokemon fainted. One of Hops did, but none of ours. We have Pokemon Trainer Shieldbert and Pokemon Trainer Swordwood. <laughs> but the vexing predicament indeed, older brother. Surely this must be some kind of mistake. What do you say, younger brother? Did it! We won! We really won! The exquisite Pokemon we trained actually lost. Hm. Only one because you two teamed up. Still, we offer you ruffians our praise. Oi! The two of you teamed up too. Get back the rusted shield and stop forcing Pokemon to go all crazy. Uh, sorry, is this a bad time? My apologies for the intrusion. These men are dangerous. Be careful. Is she sided with them? Well done. Your infiltration mission was a resounding success, it seems. Have you gathered the wishing stars? Yes, thanks to Master Swordwood and Shieldbert buying me so much time. Well, that sure sucks, doesn't it? But stop! In fact, those wishing stars. Oh dear. It would seem we've been completely had. <laughs> Why, this moment is so sweet. I don't think I'll need any sugar in my tea later. A battle with you was just a little trick. We'd won before you'd grabbed a single Pokeball. And with that, farewell. Stop. Why? Professor Sonia, I'm sorry. Is everything... Is it all a lie? Right from the start? There is no helping it. It was necessary for the plan. Our plan to put Galar under the control of the royal lineage once again. Uh, I would never want this region to be under the control of people like that. <laughs> Sudwood and Shieldbert. I think she's gonna need some cheering from her real friends. So those two weren't working alone? One of their followers even betrayed Sonya. That's real tough. Seems that lot did have something to back up all their big talk. <laughs> That's the wrong thing. Do I have to leave then? Maybe? Yeah. Wait, don't just leave without saying anything. But, upset. We didn't want to say anything to make it worse. We were trying to be considerate, but... Of course I'd be down on myself. It was my fault. It was my fault I got tricked by a nicket in Willow's clothing. But that's it. I'm more feeling sorry for myself. That, that lot made off like bandits with all the wishing stars. It'd be awful if they were used for some evil purpose. So there's no time to be feeling down. Oh. <laughs> You've got some guts. You've certainly grown strong in the face of adversity, theory. Ben. Dynamaxing draws out the true strength from the trust between a Pokemon and their trainer. But that group is likely pouring the Galar particles emitted by the Wishing Stars into Pokemon, forcing them to Dynamax. It's awful. Teed, not an awful thing to do to Pokemon. After the Wishing Stars was just the start, things could get a lot worse from here on. But why? What reason could they have for forcing Pokemon to Dynamax? Those weirdos said they want to reveal the true natures of Zacian and Zamazenta. I'm curious about what my former assistant said about a royal lineage. Did she mean it literally? Ah, Harmonia, look at your town map. They're taking huge reactions at four stadiums now. Oh, that's quite a bit. They certainly get around, don't they? There's trouble at the stadiums, and Marnie could be in a real bad way. Ah, Spike Month seems to be okay. There's no power spot stadium there. <laughs> Righto. Ammonia, this is no time to be lying about. Pokemon are in trouble, why are we still here? Let's get, let's get right out there to lend a hand. I'm sorry to leave it all to you, but you'll have to take care of the Dynamax Pokemon. I'll search for those sword and shield weirdos in the meantime. <laughs>